There are a few ways to get soft locked in Animal Crossing, even without glitches. You can trap yourself outside with signboards by filling up your inventory and throwing away letters that hold items. Something similar can be done in your house, but since letters can't be thrown away indoors, you can instead arrange items and drop custom patterns down in such a way to prevent being able to pick anything up. If you find yourself in this situation, there's nothing you can do to escape to save the game. Instead, your only choice would be to reset, lose any progress you made that day, and deal with Mr. Reset. As amusing, or perhaps unamusing, as these softlocks are if done by accident, what if there was one that you could actually escape to save your game, but it took months to do so? Would you spend the time to avoid losing progress and dealing with Mr. Rossetti? Many years ago, this was a reality for one player. April 7th, 2009, 5.45 AM. A boy wakes up bright and early with the mission of catching rare and valuable giant beetles on the island where it's summer year-round. Before he headed off to the dock to take Cap'n's boat ride to the island, he brought fruit, a net, a shovel, and some NES games for entertainment in the island house. Along the way to the dock, he admired the cherry blossom trees and stopped by the wishing well to check on the status of his town. The wishing well informed him some trees needed to be planted in Acre F5. The boy did so and returned to the wishing well. Everything was now perfect. Pleased with his work, he headed off to the island. Oh look, a giant beetle. With enough of these, I can pay off my house debt, he thought to himself. After a successful morning, he headed to the island house to take a break and play some NES games. But he lost track of time. Hours passed by as he played Wario's Woods all day. The next thing he knew, it was nearly 10 p.m. He had missed the final day of the Cherry Blossom Festival and needed to head home to get to bed. He frantically returned to Cap'n to catch a boat ride back to town. He heard the sound of the hourly bell chime. It must be 10 p.m. by this point, he thought, based on the sunlight remaining. As Cap'n pulled into the dock, the boy's face slowly filled with horror as he discovered the situation he found himself in. The trees he had planted earlier that morning had begun to grow and there was no way through. An axe, the only way to escape is nowhere to be found. It was at this moment the boy was trapped and wouldn't see his home for the next 60 days and 8 hours. Not only was he stuck on this small piece of land, he couldn't even return to the island since Cap'n was facing the wrong way. Cap'n wouldn't give him a ride to the island saying he needs a break. Was there anything the boy could do to escape without having to reset? lose that entire day's progress, and deal with Mr. Rossetti's wrath? Scared of the thought, he waited. As night fell, the boy frantically thought of any possible way out. Maybe a villager would eventually walk by and give him an axe. No, villagers can't give tools. Perhaps a balloon could float by carrying an axe. Also not possible. Was there any way to escape? He decided to sleep on it. As the sun rose and a new day began at 6 a.m., nothing changed. For eight hours now, the boy remained trapped with Cap'n, who was still facing away from the island. Even the trees didn't grow. You see, for town objects to change in Animal Crossing, the map must be reloaded, usually by entering and exiting a building. But that wasn't possible in this case. Suddenly, the boy had an idea, but he needed help from a friend. If he could get Cap'n to take him back to the island, instead of going to his own, he could visit a friend's island. One with an axe dropped on the ground that he could take back to his town to chop down the trees he had planted that blocked his path home. To pull this off, however, he would need Cap'n to turn back around. Normally this would be accomplished by leaving and re-entering the dock acre, but unfortunately there was no way to do that. He would need to wait for something else to reload the acre for him. As it turns out though, there is something that can do that. 
If the player has completed Nook's chores on certain holidays, an announcement is broadcasted from the train station indicating the start or end of a special event, such as Halloween or the Cherry Blossom Festival. After an announcement, the town reloads, including the acre the player is in. With the town reloaded, Captain will turn back around, ready to take passengers to the island again. Thankfully, the boy had completed chores a long time ago, otherwise this would have been a true softlock. So the plan was to wait for the next event announcement. Unfortunately though, the Cherry Blossom Festival just ended, and although there was another holiday later in April, it doesn't have an announcement. The same is true for the entire month of May. In fact, the next announcement wouldn't happen until the Summer Fishing Tournament, which takes place every Sunday in June. And that was that. The boy would wait patiently for time to pass until then. Hours turned into days. Days turned into weeks. April passed. Then May. Finally, June arrived. The first Sunday of June that year was on the 7th, and the event announcement would take place at 6 a.m. That was when the boy would be free. As time moved on, the boy thought about his upcoming freedom and if the wait was worth it. He looked at his giant beetles and couldn't decide. But at this point, that didn't matter. He had waited this long already and he would see this through to the end. Finally, the time came. June 7th, 2009, the start of the summer fishing tournament and the end of his imprisonment. After the event announcement, Cap'n had finally turned around, ready to ferry passengers to the island once again. And so the boy went to his friend's island, where an axe awaited him. He returned to his town, chopped down the trees he planted months ago, and finally returned home. For 60 days and 8 hours, the boy was trapped. Between April 7th, 10pm, to June 7th, 6am, 2009, he waited patiently for Cap'n to take him to a friend's island. His giant beetles were saved, and Mr. Rossetti's wrath never happened. But at what cost? Sometimes in life, we are faced with hard decisions. Sometimes it's from our own doing. Who's to say the boy made the right decision waiting all that time instead of resetting? That isn't for me to say, but what I can say is the boy did learn a valuable lesson over those two months. From now on, he would think twice before deciding where to plant trees in the future. Back at home, he would write in his journal to remind himself of this lesson. Okay. 